Hello everyone, welcome to the Hype Production. In this video, we are going to create a realistic product rendering in 3D Studio Max. So let's get it started. I have a 3D Studio Max and this time I'm gonna take the box and I'm gonna give their size two by two and the six height. So uh, it's just a box. I'm gonna take the line. That was the box for the reference. Throughout the line, I will draw this kind of a shape and select this vertex and I'm gonna apply fillet. Fillet will help you to create this smooth corners like this all right so after that uh, you will have to do one more thing that you will have to go to the modifier list and find out let modifier throughout the minimum you can see this is the shape we have created go to the flip normals so you can find out this basic shape but it's actually it's so much thick so i'm gonna make it thin a little bit something like this I think that's perfect. We need to create some more little bit, little bit, uh, and uh, we'll delete this segment. It was extra. Again, flip normal so you can find this basic shape. All right, <coughs> so you can make it to the center, and after that, go to the cylinder and uh, draw a cylinder because it's actually a cap. This is the cap of a bottle. So here it is. Just increase the height of this uh, bottle cap. So this is the basic structure of my uh, of my modeling. That's a bottle, and there's a cap. This is the basic product model. We need to just adjust or we'll have to see this but uh, what we will have to do for the next time next time we have to create some texturing in it i'm going to apply the modifier which is called unwrap uvw because this is this uh, cylindrical surface model we have to open the uv so go to the polygon find out open uv editor so you can see the wireframe structure of this bottle in edit uvs so what i'm going to do i'm going to make it fillet map so fillet map will open the entire structure which is the inside of the body so here it is my structure from where i have to make a texture first find out their alignment so i have this cylindrical shared surface model and there is a four wireframe structure so i'm gonna find them out throughout polygons checking okay so this will have to be over there like this and the both the these three things are one after another so I'm going to set this one after that this one so here it is here so let me set this this is the extra which is downside so we don't need to adjust them Okay, so these structures are extra and also these one structures are extra. So you will have to take out of them. First adjust these four layers for this wireframe structure here. And uh, after adjusting them, place it down here. But we need to adjust like this perfectly done and uh, make to the render uv template after making make sure there are square shapes and take their snap and save in the folder wherever you want to save it i'm going to create uv w map folder and here i will save this portal with png Okay, so next step that I'm gonna go to the uh, Photoshop and I will 
open my this textured file in the Photoshop. So let me find out there's a folder of called Noia. And so and this is my structure. This is my wireframing. I'm going to give the uh, color black color so I can see the wireframe here from where I have to create texture. Okay. I have also some textures available here, which is called Chrome Noia. But let me tell you one thing that they are not a sponsor. I'm just going to use their uh, texture, but it's not a sponsor. So here I will change the color of the background, which is going to be like this. Perfect. Okay, so Okay, I'm going to copy this and it looks good, but uh, we have to create noir into dark color black. The same thing. It will have to be a black as well. So this background must be, I think it's good. So here I'm going to keep the same paste, the same color. All right, and after that, go to back to the Adobe Illustrator and just copy their data, or maybe you can call it uh, texture. I think there are too much, so I'm gonna press Control Y for the wireframe, and then you can copy them. Control C and Control V for the paste. So adjust the alignment to like uh, this, like this. And do not forget, do not uh, think about their stretching because we have an open wireframe structure so you can use their stretching because you have to fill the path. Okay, so this time I'm gonna copy Neuer logo and Control C and then Control V here. And you can see this is the Neuer logo. All right, press enter and uh, select Chrome separately and control T and adjust them separately. Okay, so now I have this, uh, I'm gonna disappear my wireframe and save this as a texture, which is called uh, bottle in the Photoshop file and another save as that has to be a JPEG image which is a texture JPEG image. I'm going to apply throughout the material editor in 3D Max. So go back to the 3ds Max and and you will have to open render settings first and activate your VDA. After activating the VDA, go to the material editor, find out VDA material, select the portal and find the bitmap and call your textured. It is a texture, I'm gonna call them and you can see there's a beautiful textures on the Neuer bottle. Let me tell you once again that this is not a sponsored video from the Crow Neuer, it is the just video for the learning purpose. Okay, so again VRA material I'm gonna take and I will give the same little color according to the little bit darker on the cap of the bottle, which is this one. Okay, so my bottle is ready. I'm gonna rotate their positions uh, so to see the front part, Noya. I'm gonna make it group first, and after that, go to the box, and I will draw a box here for the studio light purpose. As I've told you before that I'm gonna create the video of realistic render, con convert them into poly and delete their extra polygons. So I'm going to select this edge, make it uh, chamfer. And select these edges, make it connect with two connection 
because I'm gonna make them smooth so it will not get disturbed. Apply shell modifier and also give them a camera from the front. So let me see how it looks like. Okay, zoom in. That's perfect. A little bit uh, adjust your bottle. Go to the material editor, give the again material the same for the background and give them a little bit, a uh, little bit different from this like that. Okay, so let me find out the lights, which is called video lights. Okay, I'm gonna give the two lights from left and right. First, my light is here. I'm gonna put this light here. Go to the parameters, give them 20% and give some little bit yellow color with invisible and Again, this light has to be duplicated by holding shift key and mirror them. And after that, you will have to give blue color, same parameter. Go to the render settings and follow these render settings. Go to the GI, make them advanced mode. Make the radius map and a radius map where current preset has to be low. Make the bucket renders. Give the HD size, 4K HD size, or maybe HD size, it's up to you. So let me take the render first. Okay, so no, this is too much highlighting and I'm going to miss the details of this portal. No, go back to the lights first. Select the lights, give decrease their multiplier 10% and this has to be 8 let me show you now it looks like perfect but one thing I'm going to miss this the reflection in the bottle bottle is looking so much simple so back to the material editor and I will give their glossiness reflection first and a uh, little bit and glossiness has to be 0.9 but I think we should remove their clausiness it has to be one person everyone has to be one person the clausiness lets me take the render now it looks like uh, some great reflection with some little bit realistic bottle Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and you can replace their colors. You can replace the texture of the color. So this will give you, give you the variation with the same patterns. I hope you like this video. So if you like this video, so enjoy this and like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much.